chance. Mississippi Anti-Gang Stalking Association. Um, on YouTube, United States Anti-Gang Stalking Association. You can uh, go to our Facebook page and uh, on that Facebook page, you'll see a link that will direct you to our TI, Targeted Individual, Witness, Data, um, or evidence uh, data collection band. And if you hear that we've got um, the remnants of a, a tropical storm or something outside, so <clears throat> that's what's going on. So that uh, kind of distracted me a little bit. I'm easily distracted, obviously. <clears throat> I want to address. Uh, as always, we're, we're talking about um, organized criminal gang stalking. Um, if for those that are not familiar with the, with that term, I, I challenge you, but with caution, uh, to um, use a search engine. Um, like duck duck go or something like that you can google it um, I'm not a fan of uh, Google but that's the world we live in you know Google is uh, uh, probably the mo most powerful entity uh, in the world they uh, they control everything and I mean literally everything but uh, you can you can Google that uh, gang stalking, and uh, you you're going to get uh, probably more uh, misleading hits than you'll get something that's actually uh, true. That's done purposely. This is uh, what, what I refer to as the uh, weapons of. Uh, mass confusion <clears throat> and so with that I, I'm constantly seeing people post and question uh, doing what the, the who white shuffle well who's behind it and all that so we're, we're gonna I'm gonna try to articulate that in, uh, a little bit better uh, mind you I'm gonna try in my mind, it's uh, it's relatively simple. It hasn't always been simple. That when you've got uh, as much sophistication and organization and technology, unlimited financing, and all of those things uh, playing against a person, uh, so it, it may take some people. A little longer than uh, than others. Uh, it's not by any means is it designed uh, to uh, to be easy to figure out. So w one thing we know that if we've got an organization, a government organization, now I, I people say, "Oh, here we go. This is another conspiracy." I, I'm not into conspiracies. Um, I'm into reality, okay? 
and there, there's a difference. Everything that you hear me speak on can be substantiated, well substantiated, with solid facts, names, dates, times, photographic, recorded information, documented uh, information. This is not uh, something that uh, just a group of people feel like they're targeted. I've read that in places. And, and, I, and I'm seeing people that are, are online claiming to be targeted individuals, and they're, but they're asking the same questions. So that has to be put into, uh, into the measure as well. I realize that uh, on my Facebook feed and stuff, I, I get, it's, uh, I don't know what the percentage is, but it's a large percentage of, of people that are imposters, perpetrators uh, trying to interject uh, ever so subtly and some very uh, 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 blunt about where, you know, it's real obvious. Uh, so they, it, it, that's part of the plan. But they come at all different uh, shapes and sizes and different angles, trying to skew the games. Thus far, they feel like they have uh, pretty well got this deal sewn up and, uh, and th so they're off the races. They, they feel untouchable. They feel that they have uh, redefined the difference between right and wrong. You know, uh, if you, it's when a person tells a lie, they may not believe it the first time or the second, but eventually they keep telling themselves the same lie over and over. Eventually they're, they're going to buy into it. That's, uh, the human mind that's essentially the way it works and so you have the the psych all the aspects the the uh, psychological physiology all these aspect aspects come into play when we're talking about stalking so let me give you the the breakdown okay now this is not my opinion this is fact just go on, on the, the website of uh your state, whatever state you're in, I'm in Mississippi, and and pull up the website for the Homeland Security Office for your state, Fusion Center Homeland Security, same thing, and, and just kind of go through their uh, go through their information that they're put putting out there. It's not a secret. Now it's. <clears throat> It's what they're not saying that speaks uh, really loud. But for those that are targeted, or those that wonder, well, I don't know if I'm targeted or not. The majority of the people that are targeted, by the way, and uh, I'm going to get to what targeting is, what, what that means. Uh, but the majority, I, I would uh, venture to say, have no idea that has a name or what's going on. They've already... Uh, uh, they're off to the races to where the fusion center, the Homeland Security, wants them to be. Okay, the uh, the chief executive officer of the state of Mississippi is obviously the governor, Governor Tate Reeves. Uh, personally, I, I've, I've never met the man, but from uh, uh, from what I know about him, I can't. Uh, I can't sit here and and uh, and and, uh, and, and, and and say anything bad about. I believe that uh, uh, that his heart's in the right place, I, and I believe that he's doing a lot of the right things for this state. Now, I don't know uh, how much the Homeland Security Office is holding him hostage. Is it a possibility that uh, the elected officials of, uh, of states are being held hostage? Uh, like J. Edgar Hoover, five presidents, none of them liked him. You know, I mean, I, I don't. I mean, they just didn't like him for a lot of reasons. Why? Because uh, he was a. He wrote the book on uh, sneaky, shady, covert, 
uh, damn civil rights, damn the Constitution, damn your American citizenship, and uh, he made it through five presidents. Uh, so that ought to kind of answer your question on that. A lot of people do manage to uh, slip through the cracks and, and get elected, but in short order, uh, they start getting challenged from directions that they didn't realize. I mean, they didn't know what was going on. Uh, you know, they realized they maybe they started realizing that uh, most of uh, what you get on the media is, is uh, choreographed or fake. Uh, if you don't believe that, then whatever. <laughs> um, that's the deal. And then we realize that we've got a deep state. So we're, we're going to talk about that. Talk about the Mississippi Fusion Center. And what's that got to do with gang stalking? Well, they, they don't use the word gang stalking, obviously. It, it didn't have that catchy little uh, thing they want, that they wanted to have. But uh, they've got several uh, programs that fall under their deal. They've got director and they've got uh, the, the state is divided up in, in uh, regions and uh, then they've got people that are over that region. Uh, if you can imagine uh, in your uh, in your mind's eye, the, uh, the 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 bracket system or the uh, the the Ponzi scheme operation of a, a mafia, and, and just put uh, take the Gambinos out of there and put Homeland Security in there, and there you have it. It's similar to uh, that deal, and and I mean it is. I, it's probably who it was patterned after. I mean, it, it's operated like that, and um, but it's absolutely disgusting and despicable to know that that we in this state and all over this every state that we've got people in there that are good people or whatever because they brought jobs or they built a bridge or whatever, and so that's how that's that's how points are scored. With these politicians, you know, a politician that uh, tells the truth is not—it's just that's not a popular thing. Uh, no, they can talk about what is going on, what's on the headline, what you know. If they've done their, um, uh, you know, they've had the think tanks, think think tanks do their uh, studies and all this stuff and see where people want want to be, and that's what they talk about. You know, uh, it's. Governments run like that. Churches. Uh, look at uh, Saddleback Church at Rick Warren. I mean, you know, that was uh, all that stuff. Purpose driven, like all that baloney was uh, based on uh, number crunching and demographics and what people wanted to hear versus what they didn't want to hear and, uh, and, and, and had a bestseller. I mean, people thump on that thing like it was uh, uh, the Holy Spirit decided after all these years, to uh, inspire another book. Anyway, back to Homeland Security quagmire. Uh, I made myself a few notes here. The Mississippi Citizens Court, okay? That's uh, that's what they call it. And uh, their, their, I believe their motto is, uh, if you see it, report it. My God, you, listen, George Orwell... Which is uh, this is not George Orwell's 1984 was absolutely just a scratching the surface walk through the park compared to what's really going on. So it's Mississippi Citizens Corp, okay, uh, or MS Cops Program, Neighborhood Watch, PAL, uh, on and on and on. They've got other little names that they like to call themselves, and so. But under under this citizen uh, Mississippi Citizen Court, that may help you understand. For those that are targeted, for those that are experiencing it, we're going to go into technology and stuff. Uh, I'm being as brief as I can. But uh, these frontline uh, crash dummies, the ones that uh, that you interact with. They've injected in into your life. They marry in, into families and uh, 
they're dating and there's no level. There's no scruples, morals, none of those things. All that's out the window. This is why it's so popular. You know, for years, law enforcement had to, uh, were forced to, to, to work around certain uh, parameters. If you arrested somebody, you had to Mirandaize. You had to read them their Miranda rights. You had the right to make da 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 da. Uh, I mean, that's kind of like the Blaze of Allegiance. That's kind of fell by the wayside, hadn't it? So, and the Constitution and due process. That's all. That's old fashioned. Now we can do it our way. So to make th this happen for these frontline crash dummies, and this is not just an assumption. Uh, this is a, 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 a fact. So we've got millions and millions of dollars they have pumped in to the state of Mississippi. So how in the world did uh, are they pulling the wool? Oh, we've got, they've got to scratch everybody's back. You can scratch people's back with money. And I'm going to tell you how Mississippi got its back scratched and why law enforcement. I'm talking about from Barney Fife all the way up to the FBI are down with a deal, okay? Uh, everybody gets your back scratched, remember? But what about the American citizen? They're getting screwed. You think you've got constitutional rights? Okay, but that's a nice thought. It's a nice thought. It's uh, uh, trying to force that issue. You, very seldom you see anything ever going to court where people's uh, uh, civil or constitutional rights have been violated. But we know it's happening. We know people are getting killed by government officials. Oh, I mean, this is, I, I don't know the numbers. Daily, if you can believe that. Government officials, law enforcement, systematically, systematically, my friend, violate the very laws that they swore to uphold and defend. That goes for you too, Governor. Uh, we've got an Attorney General, Lynn Fitch, that absolutely, after, uh, with getting a complaint, like my civil rights have been violated, this is the deal. I cited the, uh, the actual uh, Mississippi Penal Code, and what happened, who, everything. They didn't want anything to do with it. Nothing. Uh, but now, uh, so it's, it's the things like that, that that, uh, that Lynn Fitch, well, she, she's hung her hat on that, and live with it, darling. But I can tell you, at the end of the day, the rule of law, the Constitution, will trump anything that you think. Your opinion, it's not your opinion. It's not, there's not four or five different ways to look at the Constitution. You look at it one way. Civil liberties, one way. There's there's no uh, loophole that you have, uh, that you're enjoying. So you, you've enjoyed being elected and uh, be the Attorney General and all that. The, the, but the more I know, the more I realize that uh, you're, you're just a, a token sitting down there in Jackson. I mean, you have you've, the, you've exerted more effort on a task force and a reporting system for people that are uh, poaching and gouging on hand sanitizer, for the love of God. I mean, really. So we've got... God forbid you do anything about the problem that we have with murder, sex trafficking, drugs, illegal drugs. It goes on and on and on. Corrupt law enforcement, violating people's false arrests. I mean, it, it seems to me like that, uh, and you've got the audacity to uh, to make a big deal over a hand sanitizer deal 
or and then for that matter, a face mask. Okay. Uh, I mean, you know, and I'm not gonna get on a face mask thing. If, if you don't want to get sick, wear a face mask. All right. I thought we lived in a free country, so I gotta wear a face mask whether I want to or not. Uh, you know, we don't care if you, you know, what I mean. You see, uh, you're, you're spreading it around. I mean, I, I mean. So what is the deal? Is face mask keep you from spreading or catching it? Hell, I don't. I still don't know. Okay, but that's you know we get the numbers every. All these people are dying. So that has absolutely eclipsed something that uh, that didn't come from China. That's, that's coming from right down the street, from coming from your local police station, fire station, uh, National Guard, so forth and so. The citizen, Mississippi Citizens Corps. Oh, boy. Uh, that's, there's your stalkers. Now, the frontline crash dummies all have common threads, okay? That as far as the ones that I've had to do, it, and I would think that would be the deal. It, it, it's, it, they, they, it's not an attractive deal to build on the front line because that's where it's, it's, you know, where the bullets are whizzing by. Okay, so uh, it's not an attractive deal for someone that uh, that may have uh, a, a positive IQ points. You know, it, so it, it takes a, a certain kind. So they have to break more laws. It's law enforcement and violate more people's rights by running a sham. But these people all are, have got, they've got something held over their head, a, 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 a pending drug charge or something like that. That's one of the common threads. And, uh, and so they, they turn that person into, their terminology is a CI, a confidential informant. And, you know, the confidence informant stuff, you know, they're, 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 they they explain to them, you know, you have to worry about that. You know, there's laws to protect you. I go to court, name, we'll let them know, da 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 you know, I, I get a kick out of these people. We got these uh, uh, snitch, uh, exposed snitch wet, wet, uh, things on Facebook and all that. And uh, I'm like, really? Uh, and and I, I know some of the people that uh, are involved in some of that. And, uh, one, you know, and, and they talk about, you know, we've got the paperwork and all that stuff. And uh, they didn't prove anything. Those things are run by snitches, and, and I, I'd venture to say that 99.9% .9 of the people that are on there reading that are rats and snitches. Uh, that's a pretty sweet deal if you're in law enforcement. I mean, you ain't got to do anything but lie and uh, and get one person to uh, to prop up uh, and, and set somebody up. I mean, it's real simple. They do it. Research it, okay? That's not just me saying. That's that's the way it works. So, uh, so they've got that hang over the head. So they they, uh, but now they uh, th now they don't stop them from if, if this person, if this young lady or man uh, don't, has a drug problem, what they don't give two rips about that, okay? If, if people didn't have drug problems, the drug if drugs and illegal activity and sex trade, all that stuff wasn't in play, then what would they, they wouldn't have a job, you know, it's not like it's always going to be with us, it sure is, as long as we've got uh, despots and criminals in positions, uh, in, especially in law enforcement, and let's go a step further, we got prosecutors, like district attorneys, you see, the district attorney is, uh, Unlike the Attorney General of the state, they're the Chief Law Enforcement Officer. Okay? They're supposed to be. Of course, they are the ultimate authority, apparently. They decide if uh, if that law has been broken or not. Just because somebody got uh, shot, uh, had their brains blown out, uh, ultimately, uh, they, they decide whether or not that, that that's what happened. I mean, that's kind of how that works. But the District Attorneys, uh, that's the uh, the trump card there. They they choose who and who what and what they don't prosecute. I mean, they're they're that's their decision, solely their decision. So if a, a police officer or a sheriff's deputy, whatever, arrest somebody for whatever crime they claim they committed, that's all they can do is arrest them. And put them in jail, and they get a bond and all that. And if 
and then it's up to the the, the district attorney whether they want to do anything or not. They say, I, I'm not, and and so they, they don't get indicted, and so it's um uh, it's over. Now that doesn't uh, well we say well hold a minute that's false arrest whatever well hell they got immune they're all immune to that behavior you understand everybody's protected so uh, who cares that uh, your life was disrupted you lost your job family and everything you owned is put in jail and had all this stuff you have no I mean it's real some people can come in with with a false arrest and say well, I want to tell you what folks they'll fight that tooth and nail. Okay, they'll fight it tooth and nail. Occasionally, you'll see a bad cop uh, or, or bad some. They'll they'll get it. You know, they'll get uh, uh, all over the news and arrested, and even governors, and they go to prison and so forth. And they like, well, we know that it happens. Well, what you don't know is is uh, the powers to be. I'm quite sure that the majority of those cases, the powers to be, that's how they. Uh, that's how they get their point across, okay? And you know, and we got to keep, got to keep looking good, looking good, tough on crime. So the stalkers, our CIs, snitches, they have absolutely no rules that they're required to follow, other than answering to their handler, okay? Now their handler. A shot caller on a local basis, and they, they've got several. I would uh, I've gathered in each uh, area, what have you. But there's always a point person. Uh, so you might want to get your pencil and write this down. That's called the chief of police, sheriff. If, if, if I hope I'm not confusing anybody, that's who. Okay, fact. That's who. Now. Again, when I started this, I said I, I can back up everything I, I'm saying. Okay, uh, so how is it that we've got people that are elected in law enforcement that are participating, directing, sanctioning widespread criminal behavior? I don't have an answer to that. But that's going on. That's absolutely happening. It's if your constitutional rights are violated or a law is broken, a perpetrated against you, then you should be protected, right? Well, their argument is they just think that's what's happening. That's not what's going on. And they start with their smear tactics. And so the, the targeted individual is off to the races. Every targeted individual, first thing, smear tactics. They destroy your name, reputation, all that stuff. They they set many many are, are set up uh, on bogus deals. Arrested, I for one, a complete victim of a Monroe County, Mississippi chief deputy and an attorney in Amory, Mississippi. Completely orchestrated and propped up, lied in federal court and everything else. Sure did. They can prove that, by the way. And they know that. And so, when, at any time I get a lashback of, of when I go public about anything, I always have people that immediately, they, they start talking about me. I'm the bad guy for telling the truth. Okay? God forbid I say anything about the, the moron that throws trash in, in your yard, people that follow you, creepy ass people that follow you around 24 and 7, uh, the, the cock whispers that uh, run in and, and get in the employer's ear where you can't get a job, so forth and so on. Contacting your doctor, perhaps, and, uh, uh, and, 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 uh, and attorneys and so forth and so on. They poison, they try to plant that poison seed everywhere to shut you off, to isolate you. Therefore, it makes it uh, easier to uh, to have be the puppet master, if you will, for their targets. And why do they do this, people? But look, it's about money. You see, these fire departments and all these people 
get grants. It's on there, uh, the Homeland Security. They get grants. Okay, it's grant money. Well, what are they doing with the grant money? Oh, we just get, it's just sitting in the bank. We, we had figured it out. We're fighting domestic terrorism. I mean, really? No. And so that's where we're, we, uh, our position is and how we will prevail and how we will defeat this beast. And it starts with Homeland Security's fusion centers, okay? And the, the host of private contractors, which that's a long list, that have cast their lot in with that deal. Because you are denying these people that you are surveilling, that you put on that list, their civil and constitutional rights. You deny them due process. And you are you have waged psychological warfare, electronic warfare. There's no area that a targeted individual has not been violent. And any citizen, you have no say-so about it. People were, well, I wonder how, if they got spyware on my phone. Folks, <laughs> look, no. They'd love for you to think you've got spyware on your phone. Okay? Why would they need spyware on your phone when they're in bed with AT&T, Verizon, Sprint? They get those. It, listen, that's what Homeland Security does. That's one of their directives is the uh, all the forensics on uh, their, their telephone, their medications, their psychiatrist, so mental health's working with them, your doctor, the drugstore, the phone company. It's right there on their website. I'm not making this stuff up, okay? They gather all this data, all this analytical, all this information on hundreds of thousands of people in this state alone, millions across the United States. So, so you mean to tell me that we've got millions of potential domestic terrorists? I mean, really? <laughs> Nobody's going to buy that. So, to keep that from getting legs and, and that message getting out what's really going on, they have got to uh, spend and dedicate most of their effort in the decimation and destruction of the targeted individual. Some of them would just won't go down. Will they, boys? Some of them won't go down. They have, uh, and they have a whole set of prerequisites that they design after they do the psychological profile. They say it's to you. They, they do all this for uh, uh, missing. If somebody wanders off and they can't find them. They can give real time information to the FBI and what have you. I mean, really? <laughs> we got hundreds of thousands of people in Mississippi just wandering the hell off, and, and they need we need Homeland Security uh, to uh, give a pinpoint where they are. Really? I might buy that crap. So we, the gig's up. Now, how'd they get your back scratched? Well, I tell you, they get it. I mean, we've got a, a several good uh, schools in this state. One of them's got a pretty good football team. But we're not going to talk about that school. We're going to talk about Mississippi State in Starkville. Landed uh, one of the cushiest deals in the country. And, and what was that cushy deal? And that became the... Uh, uh, the facility, to the petri dish for drone experimentation and training and all that stuff. Homeland Security, they've got three places that uh, they've got in excess of 2,000 square miles of unrestricted airspace that they can practice in. And these drones flying uh, uh, over 60,000 feet. That's uh, twice as high as a, uh, a, a average a commercial plane, what have you. At 60,000 feet, I mean, it's unmanned drones. So they have to worry about 
things that you didn't worry about with, with people in it, okay? What do these drones do? They, they gather data, everything, uh, by real-time data, your cell phone and where you are. And they get this information from the carrier, folks, okay? They get it from the carrier. And not only get that, but everything that you're doing on, on your network, everything, texting, talking, all that stuff, they get it in real time. So it's not an app, all right? It's, uh, that's the deal that uh, Homeland Security, the Mississippi Fusion Center, Chief Executive, Tate Reese, that's what they have. It's no secret. Go on their site and, and read about it. So, but I, I think that most people think that would read that and say, well, they, they're just doing that for uh, criminals and stuff like that. Come on. Don't kid yourself. This is being done on a major, major scale. There's probably not a phone conversation, a person in this state that has not been victim, victimized already by this, these supercomputers that they use to gather data. So if you've used a the phone, then you've already participated in it whether you know it or not. Well, I'm not doing anything wrong here. So, look. Uh, well, i got a problem with it. And, 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 and until enough other people have a problem with it, we're going to, this problem is only going to get bigger. There's no difference between that than your average peeping Tom. They, Homeland Security and the gang stalkers have popularized peeping Toms. I'm telling you. These people, they, and, and they're the first ones to call somebody a pervert. <laughs> really. These, I'm talking, you, peeping toms, folks. Perverted, pew jumping, pew riding, peeping toms. Okay? That's what we're dealing with. That is a fact. Because they're watching and reading everything you do. And now these drones. I, I didn't have my ass on these drones or anything else until the local police station on a, a setup that didn't go right. They're still pissed off about that because they were breaking the law and, and they couldn't frame me up. You know, after a while, you get tired of that. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you don't have to be doing they. They can make you be looking like you're doing anything. Anything they want it to look like. I mean, they do that. This is job security, folks. This is reality. And look, I, and I'm not, let me be clear about this. I'm not trying to get a consensus on anything I'm saying, okay? I'm, I, I'm not. I'm not running for office. not trying to win a popularity contest. I'm absolutely thrilled to death that these fools, these stalkers, these perverts think that they've got me isolated. Got me in a, look, fellas, they've done everything they can think of. They think they've got me figured out. I, I've stayed in it long enough to see their silly, stupid, common thread that runs through. Where they, and I, play, I played along with them. They, boy, they, we've got him. Uh, I think they realize that maybe they, um, they might have mis, misjudged that. Okay, I'm not going to stop. I don't care how much effort you spend in trying to discredit me, tarnish my reputation, or tell people how crazy I am. I'm going to keep presenting the facts. I'm going to keep putting your name out there. And we're going to keep bringing in witnesses because we're going to federal court in Washington, D.C., now, trust, trust me on this, folks. It's not, we're we're going to get all the action we ever thought we wanted to get. And there's nothing you're going to be able to do to stop this, circumvent it, derail it, or anything else. Not happening. As a matter of fact, the more we do, the more they do. The more they obstruct justice. Every move that you make, stalker, pervert, Homeland Security, bad, crooked, 
I'm talking about crooked, crooked, corrupt law enforcement and judges and prosecutors that have thrown your lot in this. Don't get mad at me for telling the truth, for calling a spade a spade. That's what it is. This our justice system is designed, if you break the law, it shouldn't matter what color your skin is, what your name is, where you went to school, or anything else. It shouldn't matter what your religion is, your race, your sexual orientation, or anything else. It's none of your damn business. It's not your shot to call. I don't care what I do. That somebody else, if you don't like it, then turn the damn channel. Don't get in my face with it. it you know, and that's another thing with these uh, uh, the, the, these stalkers, these d dummies, that, uh, flash mobs and all that kind of stuff, you know. They, uh, they always got this uh, uh, sour look on their face, you know, try to mean mug you. Like, I don't know what they think that's, that's supposed to do, you know. I've tried everything in the world, lure one, get up on me close. And uh, I, I guarantee you, uh, you know, I'm not Superman or anything, but I guarantee you, I change that look on their face. All they got to do is get up on me close and, and try. But they won't do it. No. They're, they're, they are subservient to a higher calling. Well, I can tell you one thing. It's not God. And that's who I answer to. That's why I'm still here. That's why you... Uh, Mr. Stalker will not defeat what we're doing in America today that will have a ripple effect the world over as it pertains to the violation of the crimes against humanity. I don't care what your role is. Whatever your role is, you're just as guilty as the, as the man pulling the trigger. There is no difference. The very things, every single thing that you have tried to voice and smear an innocent person with. You say, well, they're not innocent. Well, you know what? Um, that's not your call to make. You're not the judge and the jury and executioner. So you're wrong. You're not doing God's work, by the way. And so... That's your breakdown. And so people, I heard somebody say, do you think law enforcement might have something to do with it? I hope to God no, people, somebody will ask me that again. Do I think all law enforcement is bad? No, I don't. Do, uh, which ones are good and which ones are not? Oh, well, I have no idea. But I know one thing that if, if I was working in law enforcement, I mean, this is what got, has the. This is how they keep a, a lockdown on these uh, frontline uh, snitches that they got, you know, because they they give them they let them give them rope and stuff, okay. But uh, it, it's they and they sure don't want them around somebody like me, okay. God forbid that person uh, slip and, and tell, but many have, many have uh, uh, divorced. Many people in the professional world have uh, confided uh, in things to me that right now, if that uh, information was known, I'm quite sure their, their careers would uh, probably be destroyed. But uh, these things that they've confided to me as it pertains to me, okay? And this is from uh, federal em employees to people in the private sector. And uh, you you see there's a lot of things that you can't, you can't say because they are absolutely data mining peeping perverts okay they do reconnaissance they watch you they think they've got your habits figured out they know what you like and what you don't like uh, uh but let me tell you what they don't know jack okay they don't know jack and people say why are they read minds and all that listen I, i'm not i i told i i promised myself i would get on it okay um folks you're giving uh, these people, do they have access to all this technology to uh, for psychological warfare and stuff that they use it? Uh, the military uses it. Do they use it? The military? Yes. So we've got uh, Mississippi State. And so 
my God, they've endowed them. Now they brought technology, so we can go from uh, uh, the uh, the uh, anatomy of a of an utter. Now we can uh, get them into some high tech stuff. Mississippi needs that. Oh God, give me a break. So, um, uh, Cap Shelby is ground zero. Cap Shelby, this is where they train. It's where they, all that stuff. There's about five or six places in the country where it's uh, big time, okay? Uh, oh, Camp Shelby. And Stanley Space Center and uh, and it's uh, Singing River Island, I believe it is, in Jackson County. Those three places there. Now, this is, uh, and this is where they hone their skills, folks. Now, you think that they're uh, tracking each other, seeing, uh, testing all that? Listen, that's where they're doing it. That's on a major scale. Now, so who else gets their back scratched? Well, these local, uh, uh, now, these uh, sheriffs, now, we got a drone now. <laughs> Aren't we smart? Man, get the hell out of here. You mean tell me that some of these counties have got several hundred thousand dollar drones and, and they're letting them fly around and hunt what? That's bullshit. I kind of not to use uh, but it's all the way you can, it's bullshit, okay? And so they, uh, but all they have to do, see everybody's, they're on the same team. That's our holistic deal. Everybody's involved. So yeah, they access to that and they get a little pomp and circumstance. And why, man, we finally got us a, a smart sheriff in here. Why, he's got drones and everything else. Oh, man. Anyway, I mean, folks, uh, uh, <laughs> it's laughable. Okay, it's laughable at what people ha ha what they believe in stuff. They go to church every Sunday. I, what, what's that supposed to mean? Okay, there's as many fake churches as there are real ones, if not more. All right. Now, I'm a, I'm a born again Christian. I I know this for a fact. God does not operate or function through lies. Deceit in the shadows, smoke and mirrors, none of that stuff does God operate or have anything to do with it. And He sure, sure, sure did not in any shape, form, or fashion anoint anyone and sanction the torture of another human being. Especially one of his own. God didn't think it's funny. That's the reason I'm still here. How much money, technology, what you think, you know. Let me tell you what. It, I don't have to have the answers. I, I, matter of fact, I'm not looking for the answers. It just so happens that the God I serve has, it's just light of it, has the answers. He knows. I've got total faith in that. Not only does he not, does he know? He's got a plan for you. You can believe that. He's got a plan for you. So I, it doesn't matter where your membership is. It doesn't matter what the talking points are or how bad you try to make me or make the other victim or how psychotic that you say they are. Because it, you working hand in hand with the mental health community and you think that you have perfected your program around everything you do if reported absolutely any there's not one thing that the homeland security does to another individual that if repeated by the victim does not fit textbook style of some type of mental psychosis if it, if it can't fit into that, they don't do it, okay? They, I mean, they just absolutely... So it has to be uh, everything that they do is built on it's a pack of lies, cover-up, deceit, and stuff. And, and, and then they got, we, we've got, they've got whole squadrons of search and rescue. I mean, who in the hell knew that we had a major problem with uh, people... Coming up missing in lakes and stuff. 
I mean, I'm not buying this crap. Anybody else is buying this BS, uh, keep buying it, okay? Because I'll promise you, uh, it's uh, people like that that uh, live by the sword, die by the sword, honey. That's the deal. So what we're doing with this association is we folks are following one thing that never lies. And that's the damn money trail. Oh, yes. It's all about the money. And it's all about these grants. These fire, volunteer fire departments and all these other hayseed hicks get. And, and the fix is in. The fix is in because they got to have victims. They got to have people. Criminals. Suspects. People of interest. And all that stuff. As long as they've got that list, then that justifies all this other crap that they're doing behind it. Where people can get compensated for their gas money and so forth and so on. Blah, 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 blah. And so and even, you know, it's it's just it is a it's sickening, okay? It's sickening. Somehow th those folks, especially these frontline crash dummies, they feel like well, they're just we're untied. They can't do anything. Man, I know it's not good but uh, listen here. I I'm telling you, the the stalkers that's been in my home that participated in this. I, I want to be real clear. Uh, I've, I've, I've mentioned a few of them. But not all of them. I, I had, there's a whole, more, way more that I don't talk about that will be brought in, uh, be talked about at the right time. None of you will escape culpability of your criminal behavior. Don't care who told you it was okay to do it. Now, you, listen, I'm not the judge, okay? I didn't make, you tell all that to them. I'm going to give them the facts, all right? I'm going to give them the facts. And you ever elaborate lie in the world and not change those facts, all right? So that's what I'm going to do. But uh, for me to think that uh, anything other than other than what's right, that's not going to happen. We're, we're going we're gonna to expose it. Now, so for the other targeted individuals out there, if the crimes are committed, I'm not saying, don't, you need to make the police reports. Make, make, make the reports. They're not going to do anything. I mean, y'all, everybody knows this. How many hundreds of people on a day about here that I report everything, all the way up the ladder. Did nothing, did nothing. Okay, not, why aren't they doing it? Because you're, you're on the hit list. Okay, they can't. Why can't they? Uh, because that would give credibility to you. Uh, you you're just uh, be, must be a, 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 a psychological basket case. And uh, and so, no, they you you don't count. The Constitution, Civil Rights, none of those things apply to you. But no, they, uh, and so, but they'll take the complaint. And, you, and you'll give them information. And they'll take that very information and hone their targeting against you. They'll use it against you. They say, now they, they've seen this. Y'all might want to try this. This is not working. That's not working. I had uh, uh, an investigator with with the, uh, the Public uh, Integrity Division, the Mississippi Attorney General's Office. Uh, from the time... He called me and our conversation in 24 hours. You wouldn't believe at the repercussions and retaliation that came off the hills of that. I made them aware of it. And they just got mom. This, you know, that's uh, like the Gestapo. <laughs> you know, that's uh, so that's that's kind of the, the trick, you know. So if you, you take them to uh, uh, to federal court or whatever or, or whatever. Well, you uh, you didn't follow the change of command. There's protocols, there's things in place. You know, you got to exhaust all this and all this. And look here, no, you don't. The, those rules were thrown out the door a long time ago. Okay, I don't have to exhaust anything, uh, Attorney General, um, or Sheriff's Department, or anything else. I've already done that, by the way. I've already made the complaints all the way up, and, and knowing they wasn't going to do anything about it, but having that documentation trail that now. It gives me, I've got the green light to, to, uh, to, to, to 
take it to a federal level. And this is a side of what we're, we're doing with our national effort, by the way. Um, but uh, I make the report. Even if the cop is not bad, uh, for him to come forward and buck the system would be would be a suicide for him. The same way with uh, any professional uh, attorneys, judge, politicians, so forth and so on, folks. It's uh, it, it's it, it's it, uh, even though they they know it's wrong, they they may try to help you to try to mitigate your uh, uh your debt mitigate your ex exposure to this and make it a little, but as far as just being uh, completely forthright and honest, uh, this, is, they, they would just, they'll destroy that person. This is a big, big deal, folks. Okay. And so they're not worried about somebody like me, but they, uh, there's no way, folks, let me tell you what, there's no way to encapsulate crimes this big, this magnitude, and have it nice, squeaky clean, sealed up. I mean, how long, how long, folks? And I'm talking to the criminals now. Do you think that this crap is going to last? I mean, how long? Do you think that eventually you'll have the masses just completely brainwashed and being sheeps headed for the uh, slaughter, having them all wearing masks and, and things like that. Wait a minute. <laughs> anyway, so you, you really believe that, don't you? Because that's that's the the, the, the ultimate plan. In order, in order to perfect the system of population control, the system of new armies and new. Uh, engagement of war and all of these things they've got to test it and field test it and field test it on who volunteers no on people that uh, have been volunteered human lab rats well that's not right well they try to make it right because they with well, their smear that's the reason for the smear tactic well they deserve to die well, let me tell you what, anybody thinks like that, um, they understand this. Hey, somebody needs to deserve to die. You do the math on that, moron. You do the math on that. You're the one that deserves to die. Let me explain something to you. Moron, stalker, fusion center, homeland security. And anybody else that wants to stick their chest out and have the audacity to wave the American flag or go to a church and preach a sermon or anything else, knowing, knowing that you are selling and mixing a Kool-Aid lie drink from hell. Let me tell you what, folks. As you sow, so also shall you reap. That's what Jesus said. Some people call it karma. Whether you want to believe that or not, I don't care. But it's real. It's real. And so, the Fusion Center, by this holistic deal, they have got all the players in to keep the confusion more confused. And so, people get off on these tears about who's really behind it. Well, it's a satanic cult. Uh, well, let me tell you what. Uh, I don't know if I can paraphrase it. It's not, it's not a godly organization. So, uh, it's, God's not in it anywhere. <clears throat> so, you tell me. Well, that could, that might not be as far from it. But they use groups purposely. And these groups, I love it. But this is the first, first one. It's always a group that wants, that has fought forever to get that power and mystique and credibility and that's the masons really <laughs> let me tell you what uh and so i said yeah i mean presidents have been masons so i mean what the hell's that got to do with uh, uh with the, how much uh, uh milk is selling for i mean i mean what's that what's that supposed to mean 
since so many presidents have been Masons, means uh, uh, that it's uh, okay to whatever. Let me tell you, there's you can't be a born again Christian and a Mason. That's impossible. Okay, so God forbid I tell the truth. There, there's your truth. Okay, can't can't be that. They had a Mason perpetrator in on me for months out here. Uh, I've known several of them. <laughs> and they're the most racist people you'll ever meet. Oh, that's when they're, they're around their own kind. You know, it's they talk out of. I mean, if they talk out, no, they talk out of their ass. Okay. Now, uh, secret uh, eternal. Uh, let me. I'll get started on that. That's fact. Okay. So they got the base. They and they love this stalking thing. Okay, because you know they could. Uh, uh, throw gang signs and secret and all this kind of stuff. Now they're getting a little. Uh, I mean, you look at these Masonic temples. They say it's not religious. We'll tell you doing temples anyway. Uh, and so now they've uh, that's giving them a little. Uh, uh, you know, and 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 then and, and a lot of them go to churches. These preachers don't know God. They don't even have a backbone. Would dare say anything about that. Um, and so, so that's one segment. Then you've got, uh, so that's a godless, uh, cultic organization, if there ever was one, and that's the Masons, okay? And, uh, and of course, then you got your, you know, Easter stars and, uh, uh, and whatever else. Now, and we know, okay, that the white Masons, they do not recognize black Masons. Now, now less blacks are standing around here. Yeah, we, they've got their own deal, too, the black Masons. <laughs> uh, talking about segregate, segregated, uh, hypocritical uh, uh, racism. I mean, really? Okay. They're still segregated. People, can you talk, can you talk, race, talk about this race stuff? Most churches you go to, it's either black church or white church. You've got some in there where there's a little bit of mix in there. And, uh, but it, it's a uh, better part, they're, they're segregated. Uh, and they even keep it that way, okay? Now, so, uh, so the black Masons and the white Masons, they're in on the deal, okay? And of course, then they, of course, then they get their, their family, their children, everything else, you know? Um, <clears throat> that's scary, isn't it? They scare me. I mean, they were uh, not uh, insignificant, uh, non-issues uh, then, and they're insignificant, non-issues now. I don't want to understand anything about anything about what they're doing, who they had in as president, or who the potentate is, or any of that other shit. Okay, don't care. It means nothing to me. Let me tell you what, brother. It means nothing to me. They can sit there all day long. I, I promise you, it does not line up with the Word of God. End of discussion. You can't sedge way it in there, spin a scripture or anything else. I don't care how many churches you go in where they are okay with it. All right? Uh, the ones I've been to are not okay with it. Number, so we, we've handled that part. Oh, so another uh, fake... Uh, uh, Supposedly good organization uh, that's involved in talking is uh, that's what I'm talking about. The we know the government and state owned state owned uh, fusion center here in Mississippi. We already know the deal on that, okay? And the National Guard, military, FBI, DA, all these people involved. Yes, all right. Everybody's got their fingers in the pot because it's a money grab, okay? Uh, I'm just talking about these frontline people. I, I don't want people to get off of things thinking it's some. You know, it's the Illuminati. Oh, get the hmm. now. So your next uh, cult, fake, bogus uh, deal would be the Mormons. Okay, um, hey, that's bogus. Is it? Yeah, I mean, it goes without saying. I mean, if, if you don't know, if you didn't know, now you know. Okay, simple as that. Um, yeah, it was uh, only some recent years that uh, uh, that Mormons were kind of forced in. They've always been uh, uh, forced into. Uh, Something you know because of their uh, uh, polygamist, uh, and they still they still believe they still talk about it. You know, I don't believe that. All all going to have their own heavens and gods and harems and 
oh God Almighty, it's just on and on and on. And they'll talk about it. But the Jesus they're talking about is one that I talk about, two different, uh, you know, uh, it's two different deals. It's called, uh, it's, uh, and it's not of God. So if it's not of God, who would be a, okay, you, you can do the mailing. So they get the Mormons, and in all recent years, did they acknowledge it? Anybody black? Uh, it was a Mormon elder told me that the, the blacks were cursed. It was a curse. They, they could show it you in the Bible, uh, and and they believe that. But they had to change. They had to uh, just keep one wife and let the coloreds in and all that stuff to be accepted. Okay, and uh, and put on this uh, uh, Mitt Romney face <laughs> of this. Uh, Bogus, really. But now, uh, folks, let me tell you. Uh, it's the, the Mormons that have infiltrated, run the casino industry and all that, and the pornography and the sex trafficking. It, all of that, vices, is Mormon control, okay? Uh, I, I trust that most people already know all this stuff. Okay, it's not my opinion. That's the deal. Uh, then your next uh, top group that they got, they got this is keep everybody confused. They'll try to quick fix the blame. And it's usually a, a race. They want to pit the races against each other. Okay? Uh, it's going to be the Muslim Brotherhood. Now, it was a Barack Obama. Uh, did he hire, he had the Muslim Brotherhood and Black Panthers posting up at, at polling places and stuff like that. Everybody have a problem with that. I mean, just did not have a problem with it. I mean, it, it's no different than if uh, uh, if he'd have had a Klansman uh, uh, guard and protect uh, polling places, okay? Uh, and, you know, he said, well, the, the Klan, you know, bring the, the Klan up. No, they're not. Uh, the Klan's live and well. It's morphed into a thing called fusion center okay it's an all-inclusive clan now so now they've uh, opened their arms the, the, the clan has a, 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 a thick roster now of uh, uncle tom's you know the uncle tom's didn't have a place to go now they have a place to go they're uh, they're in the uh, they're a citizen whatever and we're gonna clean up our neighborhoods and all that no you're an uncle tom uh so enough said about that and so, but they, uh, uh, but I know for a fact, when, I, when I'm telling you about these people, it's because I've had to deal with these fools, okay? So I know that they've directly uh, 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 comment to uh, me. I mean, I, I thought it was the black gay mafia or something. Like, what the hell going on? You know, you, uh, but you know, you can, you can always spot them. And let's say there was one more, I get off on a tear here, but, uh, that, uh, I said, the Muslim, Masons, uh, the Mormons, Muslim, the, the Muslim uh, Brotherhood, uh, I'm sure I'm missing something. But at any rate, uh, some of the people that are getting uh, too much credit for uh, being uh, behind the scenes and running it. Now, folks, let me tell you, the people behind the scenes, the people at these fusion centers, and these uh, private contractors, the people that the people that are running these computers and stuff like that. You see, as you keep peeling the onion, then that gets them further further away from scrutiny. All the money and these fraudulent entries and all of this paper trails to uh, for the expenditures all the way down the line. That's what we're going after. It's billions of dollars, ladies and gentlemen. It's billions of dollars. And we're going after the money. The, the TI in America, mark my word, they're going, they're going to get paid. Now, in the families of the TIs that are already dead, they're taking their lives. So they, they, that's one of their main deals is to drive a person to suicide and self implosion. That's what they want. It has nothing to do with uh, changing a person's uh, habits or anything else. And even if it did, uh, that uh, you can. Kiss my ass on that too, okay? Um, there's no, uh, I could care less, okay? You worried about somebody else's habit, uh, or that's your 
talking point, okay? It's not your shot to call, okay? If you think it, if a person's doing something and they're breaking the law, then we've got a system in place already, believe it or not, to handle that. But to have a bunch of fools that systematically and continuously are swallowing swords and the smoking mirrors and the cars and all that stuff, thinking that, oh, it just irritates the stew out of people, but really and truly they're not breaking the law. You've got to you bump your head. That's called stalking, okay? When two or more people conspire to intimidate, harass another person, that's stalking, period. And there's no limit to that to amount of people, okay? So it rolls downhill. Uh, can we approve it and substantiate it? Absolutely. But that's not the juggler we're going for, okay? We're going for we're going for all the lies and the fraudulent interest that be made daily in every state across this country, on every level of government. They're in on it. They know they cannot. When they're sitting there saying we we this person suspected this that and the other, it's all based on pre-fabricated propped up lies to fit all this in to make the paperwork look right. That's all they had to do. Everybody gets their grant money. We've already got a system in place to expose their dirty little secret and it is not a dirt it's not a little secret, but it's dirty. Okay? So I hope I've answered uh, the questions. Uh, but I'd like to see more uh, people get on the same page. I'm not holding out for that. We we've got hundreds and thousands, maybe millions of pieces already of uh, documentation uh, to substantiate what I've already told you. We've already, I know for a fact, we've already gathered that, okay? That's already in hand. So, um, uh, again, I, I, I'm not, uh, we're not trying to get uh, just a, a widespread consensus here. But what we are going to keep doing is we're going to keep beating that drum of justice. I'm going to keep talking about the greatest country on this planet. That's the United States of America. And folks, we can either be part of the problem or part of the solution. There, We have no place now in history for anyone to try or attempt to stand on the sideline silent. There will come a time when everybody will have to answer. I believe that. I know this to be a fact because I know God is who God says he is. And he said every knee, not some, every knee will bow. They won't be made to bow. It's free will. They'll bow and they'll confess who he is. I don't care if you're a Muslim, a Mormon, uh, or uh, 33 and a third degree secret uh, agent man, Mason. And God doesn't care either. And I'll promise you, God is not going to have any interest in how many degrees you burn. How many secret hand signals are? How many good old boy tricks you pulled or any of that other stuff? Jesus said, whatsoever you've done to the least of these, you've done it to me. So it doesn't matter. It's not about me. From the law enforcement that set me up and the people that have flapped their gum since. The people that Law enforcement have sent at my property to steal and destroy systematically over and over and over again, telling them what to do, how to deprive me of my property, of my money, and everything else. From being drugged is a long list. They will stop at nothing. Again, I'm still here. Why is that? I mean, really? I can tell you why it is. God's got a different plan. So, and it's not a mob mentality. Look how big we are and how many it, that we have. It, so, this country is not governed by mob mentality.
mentality. Hundreds and thousands of men and women through the years have died, bled out, and gave their lives, and sacrificed themselves for that Constitution that you, law enforcement, official, elected official, Homeland Security, you have used for toilet paper. I won't try to give words at what kind of person you really are. But I'm going to tell you this. You can sit there all day long and say, well, we're not that. We're not that. I'm telling you what. You're every bit of it. You're going to wear it. What? How you have desecrated the name and the legacy of so many people that gave themselves so we might enjoy the freedoms that we might enjoy, life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. But you've decided that we've got to protect a perfect a program. So after 9-11, folks, let me tell you what. The more you know about Homeland Security and these fusion centers, the more you're going to realize and start questioning a lot of the events of the past. And, and folks, let me tell you, that being said, that being said, you can't get your, uh, get your feelings because other countries are not particularly fond of the United States. Um, can you blame them? <laughs> no, that doesn't justify any, any, uh, act of violence or terrorism on this country. I believe it was Stalin said we're we're really not interested in that. or I believe it was Stalin one of them about really invading and uh, attacking the United States of America. They will implode from within. That's how America will be defeated. It's self-implosion. The very thing that is lauded as a great thing, Homeland Security, my friend, they're writing the book on the implosion of America. When this was quoted by the Soviet Union so many years ago that that's how America would fall. Was that prophecy? No, that, the, that was the plan and it's been the plan ever since. President Trump calls it the deep state. Uh, there's, uh, uh, there's a reason you, you, you hear him continuously doing non-orthodox things or saying non-orthodox things. And even with that, you have these so-called fake patriots and people that are Trump supporters and they're stalkers too. Let me tell you what, President Trump ain't got his ass on you and he's not down with your secret, clandestine, BS, lying, coward, no backbone having program, okay? And so quit waving the flag and, 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 and all you're doing is making the rest of us look bad, thinking that that's the deal. And it's not the deal. He doesn't, He's not down with it. The average American's not down with it. You're, you are, by far, you're in the minority. You're not a true American. You're, you are, you are a, a disgrace to this country and anything it represents. So regardless of what's coming out of your mouth, what you are speaks way louder than whatever comes out of your mouth will ever say. Folks, check us out on Facebook, North Mississippi Anti-Gang Stalking Association. On YouTube, it's United States Anti-Gang Stalking Association. On Facebook, get our link. There's a vetting process. We're trying to weed out some of these uh, fools and perpetrators, uh, but they're, they're, they're very active in trying to obstruct justice. For our TI Witness Evidence Data Collection Band, and sign up for that. 
that, and you'll have your own private and secure place to continuously upload videos, photos, documentation, your statement, your sworn statement, all these things will be used in the federal uh, action that we're taking, that we're currently working on right now. This is not something that we hope for. This is reality, ladies and gentlemen. You want your stalking to stop? You want these people brought to justice? You want answers? Friend, it's got to start somewhere, okay? And this is bringing, it to, bringing them to the knees. We know what uh, it's going to take to do it. And we have, we're on the right track to do that. Uh, the criminal prosecution will be reciprocal. This, this It will be no uh, question, folks. Hit them in the pocketbook. That sound familiar, Homeland Security? Stalker? And that's, isn't that the way you, you do the TI? Uh, shock and all, hit them in the pocketbook and all that stuff. The very program, my friends, that this corrupt and criminal organization designed to destroy innocent Americans with is going to be the very thing that takes them down. Until next time, God bless you.